It's our job to ensure that our clients ignore advice from unqualified sources and they receive the best possible advice either directly from us or from another professional in our network. What it comes down to is you've got to become a, a good delegator. And, you know, as a CEO, you're used to having control. And as your business grows, you let go of control of certain things, but you want to make sure you're delegating to the right people. It's really a matter of almost like being a conductor. As being an executive director, you need to make sure that all your pieces are working and coordinated or, or, or the whole thing falls apart. One of the things that I know now that I wish I had known back when we first started the practice was how low our return on investment would be on print advertising. Face-to-face uh, -face networking has been responsible for more of our firm's growth than all of our other marketing and advertising combined. You know, the, having crystal clear purpose in why you're doing what you're doing and having uh, a belief system that your uh, clarity around your own beliefs is just so important because you get tested on those every single day. Try not to do too much too fast. Uh, think things through. If we're honest with the customer, and sometimes we can't meet them as fast as possible, but I found our customers appreciate the truthfulness and would rather have that said than we can do that and then not be able to do it. The best way to rebound, again, is to stay focused on the North Star vision. I always keep in mind that the road to success is riddled with obstacles, and the only thing, I guess, that can um, you know, keep us uh, uh, moving forward is, is our dedication and passion for getting where we want to be. Never lose uh, uh, a day's sleep on, you know, when you do have a rough day. Passion uh, should ignite all the time within you so that, you know, you can wake up in the morning, deal with the problems and move on. First, you have to be humble and there's always uh, someone smarter and younger than you that's trying to come after what you're doing. There's really no time to take your foot off the gas and as soon as you become complacent, uh, you've already lost. I would say that uh, patience is like a tough thing because sometimes I am impatient, you know, and you want to, you're trying to do this and, you know, you want to do it now and I want to constantly give my customers something new and exciting. So that's what, you know, breeds life into, into my business and keeps us going forward. But you have to grow smartly. So there's a lot of proposals out there and there's a lot of projects you can try and go for. Um, and I'm not saying don't do something different. You want to do something different and innovative, but it still needs to be in your wheelhouse. So we have a clear vision internally uh, on what we're trying to accomplish uh, across New York City and Long Island. Uh, also having uh, a mission statement that we believe in and we can rally around. Uh, ours is empowering potential to achieve financial security in our communities. We started with five employees and now we provide for over 320 families. And it's very hard to sit back and stand back and, and see what we've built, but recently we have done that as partners. And we're kind of like, wow, it's kind of kind of cool and, and, and nice what we've done here. Fabricating parts 50 years ago, different than fabricating today. We have the state of the art technology that we can make these parts and pieces with much higher tolerances. That's what drives me. So WebAero maintained an entrepreneurial spirit by hiring top talent, keeping our ear to the ground, learning what new technologies are available, and also listening to our team because it's the team that around us that's just as important as the technology. Our strategy is let people um, be themselves, uh, make mistakes. It's actually encouraged so that you know, people can learn and, and continue to grow the business. We work very hard to hire the best talent in the marketplace. They know exactly what we need to do to get there. Um, and we're met with challenges that they're able to overcome because of their ability and experience in the marketplace. If a wave knocks you off your surfboard, the most important thing you have to do is get right back up on that surfboard. Organize your thoughts, take a moment, and get ready for that next wave. But it's not always that next wave, you want to be ready for the perfect wave. Well, if I was knocked down, I would get up and figure out the reason, go back to root cause analysis, figure out the reason why I was knocked down. We'll look at that as a team very carefully and perhaps get on another surfboard to catch another wave. When I get knocked off my surfboard, the first thing I do is reach out to my team. We'll get together, make a decision, own it, and then have a scotch and a cigar.